Today in this video we're going to take a look at the Caran d'Ache Luminance 20 set of portrait colors as well as these four open stock that were released when they released this new portrait set. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to take a look at the 20 set of the Caran d'Ache Luminance colored pencils. These are the portrait colors, so they are the ones that recently were released. They also have a 76 set of colored pencils that I have already done a review for on my channel, swatched them all out, and probably did a blend test as well with those. If you would like to see that one, I will make sure that is linked in the upper right hand corner. But today we are going to take a look at this portrait set. We are going to do an unboxing and we are just going to talk about them a little bit. I will probably uh, swatch them all out and do a blend test as well all in this video. So if you would like to see that, please do stick around. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. If you check the description box below, I will have a link down there for these beautiful pencils. If you find that you really like them and want to get them for yourself, I will also have a link to my email list as well as a link to my Facebook group and to my Patreon if you would like to support me over there. Let's go ahead and start unboxing these pencils. They came from Blick in this box and I just want to say that Blick's customer service was absolutely amazing. If you go to their website you will find that it says that they are out of stock but it will give you a date of when they will be available. And right now the date is April 26th. I am right now filming this video on April 8th. So what is that like maybe three weeks away? But when I ordered these, they were supposed to be available on April 4th. And I received them yesterday, which was April 7th, but they were shipped out before the 4th. So I did get them according to what their date was when I ordered them. So I thought that was really, really great. I was kind of hesitant because I didn't know if I was going to get them on time or if the date would be pushed back or what would happen. And so I was really excited. And when they did receive some of the items that I ordered, they shipped those ahead of time. So as soon as they got the items, they made sure that they shipped them out because with this set, they also came out with four open stock colors and I don't know why they did it that way but that is just the way that they did it. So it's the 20 set of the portrait colors and then four open stock colors and I believe that I may have ordered the new blender pencil as well. I think that they updated or changed their blender pencil and so we're going to see when we open this box because I really cannot remember. So let's go ahead and cut this open. And this is the box that it came in from them. And I really appreciate that they did mark the box that it was fragile. Because these are, as you all know, very expensive pencils. And they are rather delicate. And so we are going to see exactly how they are boxed when they come from Blick Art Supplies. So they boxed them with all this paper inside here. So let's just pull all of this out. And yes, it looks like I did also order a blender pencil because I was just waiting on one more open stock color so let's see what we have here this one 
is this may be I don't think this is the blender pencil I think this is actually one of the open stock colors so let's slide this one out of here yes this is one of the open stock colors and I'm going to show you all of the open stock colors that were the most recent ones that just came out when this set came out this is the blender pencil and yes these this one does look different than the ones that I currently have that came with my 76 set of luminance pencils I will go ahead and grab that one as well so that you can see how they are different and maybe we'll test the difference out between this one and the older one when we do the blend test let's go ahead and grab this out of the box here's what the box looks like and we are going to just go ahead and unwrap it let's take a quick look at the box first and of course we all know with the Caran d'Ache luminance pencils you are going to get the highest light fastness and for those of you that don't know what light fastness is or a light fast rating it just means how well the color or the pigment on your coloring pages or your artwork is going to withstand light over time and so these will last for a very long 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 time without fading and all of them including the other set the 76 set all of the pencils have one of the highest light fast ratings and that is one of the reasons that I really do love them but that is one of the reasons why you are going to pay a lot more money for these than say something like a Prismacolor because the Prismacolors they are considered more of an artist grade uh, pencil but some of them are more light fast than others and if you wanted that information you can go on their website for the Prismacolors they have a whole section on their website where they tell you exactly the levels of the light fastness for each and every color from their 150 set. Let's take a look at the back of the box. So on the back of the box they are going to show you here exactly what colors are included in this portrait set. I'll hold it a little bit closer just so you could take a quick look. You get a really beautiful variety of colors in this set and I believe that they just kind of add right in with the colors of the original 76 set and we will take a look of a look at that a little bit later in the video but it says here luminance 6901 color pencils combine the highest light fastness with the smoothness of a permanent lead conforming to strict ASTM D6901 standards luminance 6901 will significantly extend the life of the creative professionals work bringing together warm and cold flesh tones as well as a selection of dark shades this assortment is the ideal tool for creating ultra realistic artistic portraits of both people and animals and then it tells us over here a little bit about the pencils and then shows us a picture of the pencils it just explains over here how on the pencils the color dipped tips will match up very accurately with what you see on the lead of the pencil all of the pencils are 3.8 millimeters and it says that they are smooth and permanent it also explains to you that there is an identification number as well as a name and it also has the light fastness indicator right on the pencil and it's just explaining all of that to you here on the back of the box but we are going to go ahead and look at the pencils much closer so that we can see that now as we know with all Caran products they always come in very beautiful packaging this set is packaged exactly like my 76 set where it comes in this beautiful packaging this top is very very thick so it protects your pencils very very nicely and you can see just by me tapping on it how hard this actually is but 
that is how they package all of their products. All of their products are differently packaged, but they always have fantastic packaging. If you did not already see my previous uh, review, I did one on the Caran d'Ache Neo colors just a few days ago. I will link that in the, up in the upper right hand corner, but that also will give you an idea of how wonderful their packaging is for all of their products. So it just comes with this little pamphlet on the inside of the box. And I'll just open this up so that you could see it, but it's going to tell you exactly what sets are available in this line. So there is a 76 assortment, like I was telling you earlier. There is a 20 assortment, and then you've got the 20 portrait. So you can get a 20 set, but the 20 portrait set, which is this set, is very different. This was their very last release that was released a few months ago. And then you can get the regular set in 40, as well as 12. And then, of course, with most of the Caran d'Ache products, you can get it in this beautiful wooden box. But you are going to pay quite a bit more to get the full set in that wooden box. And I believe even if you ordered the set with the wooden box, it would not include this set. This set would still be separate from those. So let's go ahead and take a look at these pencils. So you're just getting this one tray of 20 pencils. And you can see by looking inside the box, again, they are very nicely packaged in here. And it looks like they came to me undamaged, which is wonderful. There's no broken leads or anything like that. Let me hold them a little closer just so you can get an idea of the colors that come in this set as they look here laying in the box before we even get around to swatching them. There are some beautiful colors in here and I can't wait to put, once, once I swatch them out, I can't wait to put this up against what we already get in the 76 set and kind of compare the swatches. For today's video, I am going to swatch out just these 20 colors alone by themselves, but I am going to compare the swatch that we do today with my swatch of the 76 colors that I did in my previous video when I did the review on that set. And we're going to see exactly how these fit in with the other colors that are already out there. So I also have these other open stock that came out or were released when this set was released. And so let me go ahead and take all of these. I've had these for quite a few days. I was just waiting for the rest of the things that I had ordered to come to me. So these are the open stock ones. And this is the newer blender pencil that I purchased. And it's supposed to be better than the older blender pencil. This is the older blender pencil that I pulled from my 76 set. But we are going to do a blend test. And I'm hoping that I remember to test out the older blender pencil and see what the difference is between the older one and the newer one. And if maybe the newer one works a little bit better. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual pencils. Let me get a beautiful, bright, vibrant color so that we could see it on camera. So if we look at the pencils, you can see, like I said earlier, that it is a 3.8 millimeter lead. It does have the barcode down here on the bottom. And then it tells you that it is a permanent cut color and tells you that it is light fast. It says Caran d'Ache on the pencil. And then over here on the other side, it says Luminance 6901. And then up here at the tip, it is going to have the name and the names of the pencils. I'm gonna hold this really, really close, but that is the one thing that I don't particularly care for on the Luminance pencils is that the writing is so, so tiny that even with my glasses on, yes, I'm wearing my reading glasses right now, but even with my glasses on, that is very hard to see because the text is kind of really smushed together. 
<laughs> making it even more difficult. I kind of wish they would have just gone all the way around the barrel and extended the text just a little bit more on these pencils but you have the number as well as the name and then we have the color dipped tip which is going to match the lead of the pencil this color look at this color it is just absolutely beautiful I love my teals and my blues and my greens and those are my favorites in any set that I have so I am excited that we got a color like that in this set and then look at this one. Look at this beautiful pale green. That color is just gorgeous. So as the back, back of the box said, this would be a really great set to use for not just portraits, but animals too. But I am looking at this set and I'm looking at some of the colors. Look at this beautiful, bright, vibrant orange. You can color much more than just portraits with this set. And I am pretty sure that once we hold the swatches up after they're done, one next to the other, we will be able to see that these colors fit in very nicely with the other colors. After looking at these, I almost just want to re-swatch everything all out and see how these are gonna fit in with the other ones. And I think that would be pretty easy to do because we've only got these 20 pencils here and then, like I said, the newer blender pencil and these other four colors. This one, when it came to me, it did, I don't know if that happened after I received it or, I don't know, I think it came to me like that, but that's okay. I'm just going to sharpen it and it will be beautiful again after I sharpen it with my Doll 133. Let me go ahead and just show you these four open stock that also came with the set. And I will hold this much closer just so you can get an idea of what these colors are. But we have Dark Flesh 5%, Dark Flesh, and this one is Wild Russet, and then this one is Dark Phallocyanine Green, I believe that says. So these are the colors, and as you can see, they do match the leads. Let me hold one up really, really close so that you could see that. So you could see the color dip tip, and then you can see the lead, and it looks as though they do match up pretty well. And I know from with my other set of luminance that they do match pretty exact. So with these artist grade pencils, that is one reason why they are so expensive as well because y'all know with all of the budget pencils that we have and all of the ones that I have reviewed previously you are not usually ever going to find a set that has the color dipped tip that is going to match the lead of the pencil so you can be guaranteed with these that they will but of course, that's why you pay so much more money because of the light fastness rating, the manufacturing, the beautiful box that they come in and how they're packaged. It's time to go ahead and start swatching out all of these colors. And off camera, I went ahead and filled in all of the color names. This is my swatch sheet that I created. And if you would like one of these for yourself, you can check the description box below and sign up for my email list and this will come free to you back in your email. Now, when I did this and I filled out all the names, I just went ahead and took these extra four open stock here and I added these here at the end so that I can just, I, I think I'm going to come back and I'm going to redo all of this later and put them in perfect color family order. And then I'm going to have everything just all on one swatch sheet. And I'm going to do that for myself a little bit later. If you would like to see that in the future, please let me know in the comments below. If you have both of these sets of pencils, the 76 and this 20 portrait set along with the extra four open stock. Let's go ahead and get into the swatching of these pencils.
colors laid out and they really do give you a really good variety of colors. I would say that this set is not necessarily just for portraits or just for animals. I'm seeing colors in here that I could use for many other things and once I blend them together and such I could probably create a whole bunch of different colors and color any page I wanted to with these colors. I went and grabbed my swatch sheet for when I did the 76 set of luminance quite some time ago and so these are the colors that we got in that set and so here is the extra 20 with the four open stock and if we look at these let's just go over a few of the colors and how nicely they would fit in or they do fit into this other set so if we start up here at the top you could we have this pink white color up here and that looks like it fits in very nicely somewhere up in this area and then we've got our light flesh 10% and if we look up in this area as well it looks like this is or it looks like it has a little bit more orange in it or a little bit more peach in it than this Naples ochre and then we have this Indian yellow here and it looks like it is a little bit close to I can't even read what this says right here but it is another yellow isn't that great that I can't read my own writing <laughs> So this color here, this Indian yellow, looks like it would fit in really good right here in between these two colors. And then we have another yellow here that is rather bright that looks like it would fit in somewhere right in here. We've got our orange here that would go somewhere right in here and then we get another red. Let's look and see how many reds we actually had over here in this set. So we only had a couple reds and then we get this other red here that fits in nicely right here probably after this color then we get another purple and this color is very different actually let's see what we have here we don't have any other color I don't think on here that is anything like this color so this color here was a really great addition to the set I would probably stick this one somewhere right in this area but that's a really pretty color and then we have these more muted pink colors, a hibiscus pink and a violet pink. And these would fit in very nicely, maybe over in this area somewhere. There are not any other colors in this set that are really anything like these two colors. These two colors are similar, but if we take a closer look, they're different at the same time. But those two colors are a great addition because there's really not something else here that is a whole lot like it. This color looks too as though it is a great addition to the set. I think it's going to be the case with all of them. Here we have a terracotta and here we have a russet. Those are kind of close but this one is much lighter. Then we have a dark flesh 40% and I don't know are those kind of close? I would have to really take a look at them, but I am going to go ahead and put these in perfect color family order and I'm going to combine my swatch sheet all together. And I think I'm going to try to do that very soon, but we've got this Carmine Lake here and it looks like it would fit in somewhere over here. Dark Indigo, you guys know how much I love my Indigo Blue colors and this is just just like the Prismacolor Blue or Prismacolor Indigo Blue, it's called Dark Indigo and it is a very deep, deep shade of blue. I love that color for doing a lot of shadows. And if we look up here with our blues, it looks like the darkest blue we had before was this Prussian Blue. And so this would fit in very, very nicely. And then we have Indian Throne Blue, it looks like. And this one is a great addition as well because the only true, well, we had some other blues here. I don't know, I'm really gonna have to put these in order because I'm looking at the blues and I'm thinking that I would want to move these up here or even kind of in here before this middle cobalt blue. 
because these have a lot of these are more like a teal this ice blue here that's more like a teal and then we've got this gorgeous color here look at that color that is so so pretty and we don't have anything in this other set that is anything like that one we have this turquoise blue here but that is much more muted than this one here and then we've got this middle verdigris middle verdigris i think that says and that is a beautiful light green that would fit in nicely somewhere over here as well as this chromium oxide green and then we've got dark flesh five these are the four open stock right here i'll show you a closer look of those but these are the four open stock this one here the dark flesh five percent and then these three here so you've got some really great flesh colors here and then a very dark green and this green looks similar to this one here but this one looks like it is a tad bit lighter so the colors do all fit in very nicely with one another and we are going to go ahead and play a little bit with these and do a little bit of blending i'm going to use my spring hill paper like i always do and we are going to test out these two different blenders and see what the difference is between the two of them Let's go ahead and first see how these sharpen with the Doll 133. Y'all know this is my favorite sharpener. And so I always like to test out all of my pencils with this sharpener. And they did already come pre-sharpened, pre but I always like to sharpen my pencils when I get them in the mail just to be able to remove whatever there is of possibly a wax protective coating on the pencils. And I usually do that before I swatch, but I wasn't that concerned in this case just because I know that I am going to be redoing this swatch. And so I am going to sharpen them all before I redo my final swatch. And I'm only turning the lever a couple times because these are very expensive pencils and I don't want them whittling away. And of course they were pre-sharpened. So these are the leads that the Doll 133 produced. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The colors that I chose to do the blend test with were this phallocyanine green or dark phallocyanine green, and then the chromium oxide green, as well as this middle verdigris, I think is how you say that one. So let's go ahead and move our swatch sheet over. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna be able to test these two blender pencils. And so this is the older one that came with my 76 set of luminance. And then this is my new one that I just received in the mail. Let me go ahead and give that one a quick sharpen as well. I'm probably just going to turn this two times because it's really not that important with your blender pencils to have that sharp of a tip because they're just kind of pulling the colors together. So I've got a really dark green, a mid-tone green, and then a lighter green. And I wanted to pick these colors just because they will be able to be seen on camera really well because they're darker and more vibrant. And the dark green was one of the open stock and then these other two came with the actual 20 portrait set. So I wanted to be able to use at least one from the open stock. And so that is why I did that. So let's go ahead and lay these colors down. They lay down very, very nicely. Now for those of you that the Prisma colors I, and I'm only talking or referring to the Prisma colors because I know that the Prisma colors are widely popular, one of the most popular pencil brands. And so that is what most of us are very familiar with. If you're looking for something that is kind of in the middle of a polychromos and a Prisma color, because the Prisma colors are possibly too soft for you and they break a lot for you because you are more of a heavy-handed colorist or artist 
or maybe the polychromos because they're oil-based you don't really care for the way that they lay down on the paper where you have to do it in light layers they do have a little bit of a learning curve this would be or th this, this luminance set would be right in the middle of those two because these are harder I believe they are wax based they do lay down very much like a wax based pencil the set that is oil based would be the Pablo's which I've also done a review on those and those are um, I will link that in the upper right hand corner those are fabulous pencils too but they lay down very similar to a oil based pencil and so unless you're laying them down in very light layers you are not going to enjoy those as much as you would something like the luminance or the Prismacolors but this is a very nice in between and they lay down beautifully you can see how gorgeous they lay down they just blend together with total ease and the way that they lay down is just I mean they're they're wonderful but again like I said earlier you're gonna pay for that <laughs> let's go ahead and get a little bit more pigment down on the paper and now I'm going to come back the other direction so we could fill in a little bit of the white of the paper and I'm not pushing too hard when I do this because remember like I tell y'all all the time if you push too hard all you're doing is just damaging the tooth of the paper and you don't want to do that you don't want to damage the tooth of the paper or take away from the tooth of the paper before you're ready to come back and use the blender pe pencil and pull all of your colors together if you are using a blender pencil. So you can see that these lay down beautifully all on their own. And let's go ahead and do this first one and I'm just going to, I'm not going to use the blender pencil yet, but I'm going to show you how these lay down fine all on their own without a blender pencil and if I wanted to just use my lighter color as a blender just to burnish it out and bring all the colors together I would just use my light lighter color to do that and I could just come right over the darker color now there is still white left in the paper but this is just a blend test to show you how the pencils work and how they lay down so I'm really not too concerned about that but if you wanted to come back after you're blending your colors together and lay more of that pencil down you can surely do that even after you have brought your lightest color over or your blender pencil or whatever you're using and just come back and lay more color down and then I can just come back over again with my lighter color now if you notice your lighter color is going to lighten up those darker colors just a bit but with these you're not going to get that waxy film over your coloring or whatever art piece it is you're creating you're not going to get that waxy film like you would with a prisma color and let me go ahead and hold this up a little bit closer so you could see that but you could see i could see the wax but it is not i mean I, it's a little bit reflective when i do it back and forth under the lights or i turn my page back and forth under the lights but it is not anything like what you would get from the wax bloom of a Prismacolor because they are a harder pencil and every pencil consists of oil and wax just some of them have a greater amount of wax and some of them have a greater amount of oil so dependent upon the mix of the pigment and how much of either one it contains it is going to lay down very differently from one pencil to the other let's go ahead and lay these colors down again and I'm going to try the old blender pencil and show you how that works so I'm just going to do this really quickly and I'm going to lay down my darker green now I'm going to come back with a second layer and do this again 
And as you can see, it's just filling in some of that white of the paper. And I'm not going to get rid of all of the white of the paper because I want to see what my blender pencil will do. So I've got my older blender, blender pencil that came in my uh, 76 set of luminance. And I'm just going to come in here and I am going to pull these colors together. And you can see how it's just kind of pulling all the colors together and pulling one into another. It's getting rid of that transition line there, the little bit of transition line that there was. And you can continue to just go over it as much as you want to until you can see that all the white of the paper is gone and it is burnished together nicely. And when you're using a blender pencil, you could just continue to come back and forth in both directions and it will continue to just bring all of those colors together and burnish them out. So you can see the difference here. This is where I used the light color and then this is where I used the blender pencil the older blender pencil. So I'm going to lay these colors down one more time and we're going to see the difference in the newer blender pencil. Now with the middle green or the mid-tone. And now we're going to come back with our lightest green. I want to make sure I get the same amount of pigment down on this one when I go and use the blender pencil just to make sure that it is fair when we're comparing. So let's go ahead and try the newer one and I'm just going to go in a circular motion and see if it does the same thing or if it's any better than the other one. And you could see that it is pulling all of the colors together beautifully. And I'm noticing that I'm not having to push as hard on my pencil with this one. And it's, it actually, I do like this one better. I think, let me see. I don't know. They may just be about the same. If we look at these, they both look exactly the same. And so, I don't know. I'll have to research that a little bit and see why they came out with a newer pencil. If you look at them, you can tell that they are different from one, one another. This one is a lot more slipperier in the hand. It's got like this glossy coating on the outside. And then this one is made out of the same wood of the actual pencils. You can see that right here. So they are very similar to the actual pencil. And then this one says pencil blender on it. And then this one just says full blender, bright, and then has the Caran Dash name on it, just as does this one here. But that is the difference in these two blender pencils. And I really don't see much of a difference aside from that. So I'm going to do a little bit of research and I'm going to try to find out why exactly they came out with a new one or redid what was already done. We will see and I will update in the future or in my Facebook group and let you all know what I found out. If you know why they came out with a new blender pencil, please let me know in the comments below because that would be very interesting to know. They seem to both work just as good, one just as good as the other. The only reason I can see why they would come out with another one is maybe people complained that it was too slippery on their hands or something with the glossy outside texture or maybe just because they look nicer when they are the same wood as the actual pencil. Here we have all our colors. Our blend test is complete. 
and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you are interested in purchasing these pencils for yourself, they are really wonderful pencils, but I love that I have the whole set now. But if you are interested in purchasing these for yourself, I will have a link down in the description box below to uh, Blick Art, which is where you can purchase these. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Happy coloring. Bye.